Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we will talk about the fact that U.S. consumers are buying more bourbon and candy since the start of the pandemic. My name is McNeil. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, Katie Joyce, Danny Kennard, and Tim Swyatt. Hey, gang. What's up? Hey, guys. Hello. Hello. Hey, oh, so we're going to get to the bottom of this. Are Americans eating more candy, drinking more bourbon since the pandemic? We've got a pretty good focus group here. we got five people, so this is a scientific poll we'll be talking about. <laughs> and we'll figure it out. We'll get to the bottom of this. But we'll do that after the break. For right now, Danny said there's something he wanted to talk about. Said it might even fit in with today's show. What do you got, Danny? Well, uh, Steve, I know you do not approve of this because oh, you think it's a cult. Oh, yeah. Costco? Costco, yes. I'm doing the Sanders. Yes. (laughs) Go ahead. You can do it, Danny. Yes, I can. Uh, I'm doing the Sanders uh, dark chocolate caramel covered. uh, Well, no, it's caramel. (laughs) It's caramel that's covered in dark chocolate, and it's covered in sea salt also. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, It pairs well with your bourbon. Okay. I guarantee guarantee that. Sounds delightful. That does sound good. That's how that cult gets you, though. They give you you some good stuff. So, yeah, they're like, here, eat these chocolates. And then they're like, oh, by the way, you want to read this uh, brief pamphlet uh, we've got? They're honestly great during Halloween because I want to be that house with the full-size candy bars. I can get like a whole thing for like 30 bucks by like four of them. It's way cheaper than going to like I invented the full-size candy bars. No one was doing that until I did. I invented that in the U.S. Well, (laughs) McNeil, just just to put a spin on this because Steve does not like Costco, uh, I don't know if he approves of Sam's. Sam's. Like he doesn't like Sam's either. We just don't. I don't like Sam's that. either. Uh, yeah, oh, they're yeah. just not. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry. There's no. like a certain energy to it, though. Like, and it yeah. changes. So you got to go down like every aisle every time. Exactly. It no, changes no. Okay. it up. Because, because I don't take my husband anymore because he is an every aisle type of guy. I'm like, no, we are getting the shit we are getting and we are getting out. My no. husband but, wants to get out the, of every damn aisle. I'm like, that's not what we're here I let for. Sam's but tell the me problem I'm buying that day. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is with Sam's and Costco is the fact is they put different stuff on sale every day. So you oh, have mm. to go every day to get the deal. Danny, it's you and your wife that live at home. This is not like you've got four kids anymore. What do you need Sam's and Costco for? They still have regular sized bottles of whiskey. I got some ocean exactly. age. I got some good whiskey, 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 whiskey the other day. Good whiskey selections. They really do. Mm-hmm. Yes. How right now, know? Jim Fosnott's yelling at the uh, his radio where he's listening to this. You don't need a membership to buy from Costco. That's what exactly. You, it's, you, it's, don't, you don't. You know how people okay. have triggers well, when you uh, when you hear something you know they're going to say it. Mm-hmm. That's one with those. You know, those <laughs> like, well, I, I, Costco I, to buy whiskey. Then here comes the story. Okay. By the way, you I, don't need to have a membership to buy. Uh, right. You don't need the membership to buy it correct 
Correct. But I will turn around and tell you that oh, they don't like this it. They give year, you the stink eye. I, give I, you the stink I eye. traveled all the way to Kansas City. Oh gosh. From yes. to go to Costco? Ophalad. We got one in yes. South County you could come to if you want. <laughs> I, I know. There's one in St. But, Peter's. <laughs> no. I had to no. go all the way no. to Kansas City <laughs> to turn around and pick up the new bottle of the B. 522 of Elijah Craig. <laughs> is that I right? I didn't even get that. That's think, a, with gas prices, that's like a that's now like a four hundred dollar bottle. He's like, oh, so good. No, <laughs> no, it was just a, a take. It, it was less than a tank of gas that <laughs> we went and missed his car. Right so, City. So one hundred twenty five dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, I, I I filled her tank for fifty five dollars. Fifty five dollars took you all the way. Today's gas <laughs> prices all the way back and forth to Kansas City. You know yes. what? Like it's not a bad day. Like why not go on a little trip? It's about the adventure. Let's go. It's about the journey. That's about yeah. the about the journey. Monday. I'm sure. I'm doing one of those on Monday. I'm going to Kentucky for a day to pick up some stuff for the shop. So yeah, no, Steve, items and then uh, we're going to be Steve, in Northern uh, Kentucky. I want to go to Bucky's, which is just south. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to waste a day and go to Bucky's. That's my Bucky's, That's sure. Where I am. It's in there Richmond, and I haven't been. So yeah. I am totally. Wasted I got to get more day. art eatables <laughs> stuff too. That all sold out. We have a lot of art eatables. Just about. Just about. Mm -hmm. Not quite. Yep. Steve, is there any chance that the hidden barn is hitting your shop? Um, well, I'm gonna go to Royce's on Monday. I'll probably just steal some. So yeah, whatever I <laughs> whatever I can throw in the trunk. Allegedly. Well he's on while he's on a lunch break. Uh so, yeah, it it is gonna be it, it's, it's yeah. sold out, but no, uh, well, it's it. yeah, batch number one. I, again, there's gonna mm -hmm. be multiple releases and stuff like that. So that was just uh the, the gift shop release number one of batch number okay. one so there'll be more and we'll, we'll definitely be carrying a single barrel so it's not we're, we're you know they're batching products for uh the mass market but for us we'll be buying a single barrel so we're okay. going to get something that's kind of cool okay. off profile a little bit again jackie's involved in it and in uh, selecting the barrels that go into the program mm -hmm. and then uh you know so it'll cool. be fun we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll mm -hmm. get in on this so yeah uh we're lucky i mean hidden barn uh, we have a good relationship with neely and uh and of course all the owners so all they all like us so we're, we're good so it'll it'll yeah. happen so yeah. let me know when that does come yes out. i will i will all right well guess what gang it's time to drink what is everyone okay. drinking let's start with tim tim what do you got and with the candy theme, I decided to go with some Widow Jane Decadence. This is uh, Widow Jane, then aged in maple syrup barrels. Okay. Nothing. 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 Tim, that's that's embarrassing. All right. Danny, yes. you're next. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to finish off my bottle kill with uh, bluegrass. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Squeak. Just a squeak. That's her lead, though. Squeak. I heard nothing from Tim at all. So the squeak has the lead. Katie, you're next. Katie, how Katie's many cats do you have? Cat right now. Cat. Yes. <laughs> it seems like yes. that one she doesn't like as much as the other one. The other one she seems to like more. Yeah. It was almost oh, like an exercise to warm up for a corp pop. It seems like yeah. one cat, multiple personalities on him. But okay. Yeah. So I have uh, still 630 there, Bill 266. Okay. All right. Hold on. Quiet on the set. Okay. Oh, got to get the microphone position right. Oh, that's Ooh, good. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, there you go. That's Suck the landing. Be to beat. That's yeah, that, to that's beat. like All a right. Mary Lou Retton performance right there. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. All right. I'll go next. I've got the Wild Turkey 101 Rye. Oh. Rye. I like that. Yes. Um, don't, uh, it's harder to find. Way harder to find than regular. And I don't fall for Wild Turkey uh, Rye. 81. Forget that. Don't, no. don't, 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 even, don't even pick that one up. That's no. it. Don't do that. That's one is the way to go. Yeah, no. don't, why would anyone uh, do that? Steve, if you are actually having trouble finding that, uh, let me know and we will discuss this later okay. on. Okay. Insider trading happening right now. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Danny. It's it's a, let me know when it drops. Bucks. Let me know when it drops. In, in, in Virginia, do I got to yeah. drive to Danny? Or is no. Local <laughs> okay. 
That's good. Uh, I can Virginia's it a, today it's hot right I now. Can, yeah, there, there's a lot I of eyes on it. Deliver it to you tomorrow. Okay, fair enough. All right, here we go. Cork pop. Oh, nope. That was uh, sloshy, uh, squeaky, and not much pop. So yeah. not a lot working for that one. So yeah. All right. All right. Uh, who hasn't gone yet? Me. Uh, McDoo. McDoo. Who's okay, last? This, this is not going to do anything with Katie as I have some Sazerac fry. No. Yeah, nothing. Hey, Katie had the, uh, she had the cannon going on there. So she, she clearly went. So. <laughs> Cheers to Katie. Cheers, Thank Katie. You. Thank you. Cheers. Salute. All right. We'll take a quick break. And then when we come back, we're going to be talking about this concept. Are people drinking more bourbon? Are they eating more candy? We'll get to that in just a few. Let's talk about the people who make these shows happen. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon, as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels, owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We'll also have a 24C classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop. It's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Staven Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows, and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers, leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky. Yeah, happy Christmas. Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today we are discussing U.S. consumers consuming more bourbon and candy yes they are so bourbon and candy first of all has has the pandemic changed uh your drinking habits it seems like some other people because they can't go out they were drinking more cocktails. for me i hasn't changed anything at all i mean i drink like i always have I, it's not like oh now i'm drinking more because i don't know why i'm was my life didn't change that much with the pandemic i was working out of my house so I feel like my drinking became more ex- socially acceptable okay Okay. There's that. So I think people people went home. We're bored. We're not as social as we used to be. So it's like, you know what? I'm home. Nobody's checking on me. Nobody's looking over my shoulder. Why not have a cocktail for lunch? I think a lot of people have that thought mm-hmm. process. Cocktail. That's for a lunch. good point. People embrace the day drinking more. They do. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was a right. time Stevie started at 9 a.m. And we're getting oh, phone yeah. calls for interventions <laughs> this is true. Yeah, at some point in time. Yeah. Yes, this is true. I, I did that. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I, mean, uh, I, I drink every day about nine now because I'm at the shop and Jim and I were <laughs> tasting samples and it, it starts early. I mean, so I, I might be so, but that's not pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, well, just, I, I, I will be honest I on this one. Okay. 
when I went down and I tried to do the uh, Kentucky distilleries. Yes. Go ahead. At the time, uh, when I first did the first bourbon trail, (laughs) it was only nine places to go. Okay. When I tried to go the second time, yeah. Oh my God. There were so many added. It seems like they would like that challenge. Yeah. Danny. But I did not like this the is fact is I I'm a type of person that okay. Yeah, you see me this way at night, but I'm not I, I'm not a day drinker. <laughs> I, I don't enjoy it. <laughs> I love a day drink. Yeah, last Sunday, Danny was uh, drinking with us at uh, no, 10 in the morning, uh, Danny. You were. Don't my, deny that. My wife, my wife was like, okay, we, we've got to go just to this distillery at 9 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like. Right. Danny, you have no problem with that. No. Oh, I did have a problem with that. Uh, <laughs> well, you don't, don't have to drink at the distillery. Noon. Oh, you know, you just drink at the ABV barrel shop at 10 o'clock in the morning. I know, but that's what prepped me. He for hated the every ABV. second of it. He hated it. Here's what <laughs> happened. So, <laughs> so literally uh, the samples is set up uh, as both he and his wife, Misty bought tickets. So uh, there's, there's two sets of samples. Well, Misty famously doesn't drink. So Danny, I see takes all his samples one at a time as they're drinking them and pours them into <laughs> his glass. So he's having doubles, uh, you know, exactly. at 10 o'clock. here's the guy who doesn't drink before noon. Clearly, that uh, that was all bets off that day. Exactly, but the that's the thing that is turning me toward more <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so, Danny, do you eat more candy now since the pandemic? Well, I, I don't dislike candy, but I'm not eating any more now than I was. I, I, I again, I don't understand this one either. No, you do to people uh, because well, they're I don't really. Why, why is this? You came up with what you thought was the the reason on the liquor. Why are people eating more candy now? I think because we're all depressed and sad. Why not yes. eat more candy? It doesn't matter if we're fat now. Nobody cares. I will agree. Nobody candy, cares. Man. We're home by ourselves. Now let's enjoy it. <laughs> let's just have candy. Katie, mm-hmm. are you eating more candy now than you used to before the pandemic? No. No. The in- so I, that's- my candy intake hasn't changed. Yeah, my if anything, my candy intake I would say has gone down because you're not out. Imagine you know you're yeah. out, you're out about you're stopping in the gas station. That's where I'll buy like candy and shit like that. Right? Because uh, I like, did. Oh, I'll, and- get a, I'll get a I'll get a Snickers bar while I'm here. I don't I, when you're not when you're just at home. You're not not doing that. I would think. And with grocery delivery, you're not at the checkout line grabbing right. something. Yeah, that's it's no very impulse less grabs. Yeah. You don't see it the way you used to. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would think candy's less, but they say it's up more. It, it may also be seasonal. Because let's be honest, we've got, we've got a holiday coming around the corner, which is all about candy. And True. who hits the the, uh, the 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 discount aisles like an hour after the thirty first well, like of October? That. Yeah. Now, also, you can't be in the second half of the year because I like quarter. those Reese's pumpkins. I, those oh, are the yeah. best ones. Oh. No. But also, people got stuck. Yeah, yeah those, those are the best ones. ones. Those are absolutely the best ones. With their kids, they're like, "Here's no, a candy. maybe the eggs are the best." Me alone no. for an hour. Throw in a piece of candy. They can no. go away. Like maybe they're just throwing chucking no. candy at their kids. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 like, no, 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 the 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 candy corn type stuff. That's nasty. Oh my god! Well, some candy plastic. No, well, it's, decoration. I don't, we it's don't wax. That, that, that's decoration. like asking for St. Louis pizza with the plastic well, St. Louis cheese. pizza's good. St. Louis pizza's no, good. No, it is and not. And candy corn's good, too. Thank you, Danny. No, it is not. It's yeah, good. It's gross. It's very good. It's very good. No. Danny it's loves St. Louis pizza. It's away from no. plastic. No, it's it, not. It's gross. Stop it. That's terrible. No. No, that. it's, Shame on yeah, you, Danny. I, I Danny Shame on, on you. Candy corn is trash. <laughs> Those little pumpkin shits are also trash. Like, yes, exactly. Can I put them in dates? Uh, all right. They have yeah. no other use. I hate them. I do like Don't candy corn and peanuts together. Like in the summertime, no. even candy corn and peanuts, there unsalted you go. peanuts and candy no. corn. No, that's like a I, bad trail mix. No, no. I no. like Virginia peanuts. <laughs> no, you need to uh, do the. <laughs> This is make me pull out my animal crackers, though. So okay, maybe if you're gonna do popcorn, 
Yeah. If you're going to actually do popcorn, I would suggest. How do we get to popcorn? Uh, but go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Make oh, your point. Popcorn. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, I would say uh, Nutella and, uh, and popcorn. Yeah, like Nutella just like popcorn. over it. That's probably messy to me, Annie. No, it's no. very messy. No. Nutella and popcorn is that's mm-hmm. not gonna. Is it the popcorn gonna I gonna melt it? it? Okay, no. Like you turn around and melt your butter. Yeah. And then you turn around and put the popcorn in, and then on top of the popcorn, you put the Nutella. Oh. Or I, 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 I what is this, this you're making? This the next time we do popcorn and movies, because I love Nutella, I love popcorn. It doesn't mm-hmm. sound like it's no. gonna suck. So. Oh no, it's fucking awesome if you <laughs> mix Nutella. <laughs> Imagine the shit all over your couch and, and shit, and, right? and they're watching oh, a movie. And well, all it's hands. all good. You, you're I'm picking it off your chest because you know you drop yeah. a few. You know, oh, it's yeah. like it's sticked it up. Mm-hmm. Well, well, how are you gonna lick that stain off your shirt? Uh, how, how does everyone eat popcorn home by yourself watching a movie eating Handful. popcorn versus okay. yeah. Oh, yeah exactly oh. you gotta have well, a handful of it you gotta work right. it because the, okay. you gotta get it you well, gotta stuff it in your mouth uh, and you work it yeah I, I, right. put it by, by I love eating popcorn later, like that on my bathroom floor <laughs> that's right oh, yeah. okay let me tell you the way I eat popcorn with okay. a knife and fork uh, no oh. I so have canary, a canard couch. style knife uh, and fork okay. on the popcorn. I do a couch cover. You can do a couch cover. <laughs> Dave's yes, got his popcorn couch it's cover. Popcorn sheet. Oh, yeah. It's the popcorn sheet. It's the popcorn tarp. Yeah. It's the popcorn eating so couch cover. Popcorn tarp, I can, okay. I, yeah. I can wash that. I can protect it. My couch is protected. Yeah. And he's right. nude when he's eating this, so he can't ruin his clothes. No, well, it, yeah, he, he no, can't well, lose anything. So that's be nude. We're going <laughs> to be nude. We really don't need you. They right? have entered into a situation you do not want to know. <laughs> but <laughs> let's just say I'm eating my popcorn. <laughs> uh, you may or may not know what. Way I'm eating my popcorn, but so Danny is good. eating popcorn nude. <laughs> okay, on a covered well, couch. I'm not <laughs> on a tarp, a sitting on his couch. Yeah. Yes, I'm not admitting to eating popcorn nude. He either admits uh, nor denies. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I'm not yeah. admitting to that. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a streak on the uh, brown streak on the sofa. And he's like, "Well, that's yes. that's the Nutella, of course. Yeah. It's, not, that's mm-hmm. it's not new Danny that did that. It's the Nutella." Yeah. I I really no. think that you suckered me in on this Friday night because you knew what I would do. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm uh-huh. the victim here. I'm the victim because I'm I'm just <laughs> yeah. trying to produce good shows. Yeah. So, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. We, we we just created some nightmares for the whole audience, Steve. Uh, right? and, uh, yeah. Yeah. And this, this one, but we'll see how this one flies. We took They're all two- yes. grabbing yeah. their sugar candy to try to like soothe themselves. This is yeah. why candy sales are no. up. Well, follow Danny candy Canard candy for more recipes candy. like his, his popcorn <laughs> recipe there. It sounds no. delightful. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Tim, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? Uh, you will find me in the fetal position trying to uh, erase the memory of Danny naked on a tarp eating popcorn with Nutella. Um, <laughs> you can also find oh me at. <laughs> You can also find me at the Tasting Events page on abvnetwork.com as well as on Instagram at swyguy2112. All right, Katie, how about you? You'll find me drinking whiskey through a Twizzler straw to support both the bourbon and candy <laughs> industries. Okay. And also over on Instagram at Katie Proof. All right, Danny. You will find me at Danny Kennard on Facebook, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Facebook. Just All right, there that. you go. Find them on Facebook, folks. McNew, how about you? Where can people find you? You can find me being the best Halloween house, but also on Instagram at McNew ABB. We're not anywhere near Halloween here, by the way. Halloween. I is... don't care. I'm already. I got. I got a new. Thing it's pretty good decorations up. You've got deliveries have... coming in. Yeah, yeah, deliveries coming in. Yeah, there I you go. You got to be <laughs> on early. Yeah. Are you going to get the twelve foot uh, skeleton this year? I can't get them because Home Depot sells out so fast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and right. then there's a secondary market for this shit too. It's a problem. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they'll bust them in Virginia and then maybe <laughs> the state will release them. All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find <laughs> at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. The important website, those abvnetwork.com. Check it out because everything that we do is out there. All of our previous shows, even that one where Danny did the nine ounce shot, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Do you have anything else to say before we get out of here? I would like to remind the audience to please yeah. give us a five star review. That includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the A. BB Network. All right. Great job today, gang. Find it. We have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Drink more. See ya. Bye bye. Peace. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Another friend of ours is the Goldstein family at Goldstone Mill. The Goldsteins offer a variety of heritage and heirloom grains to make the finest whiskeys in the world. Plus, they are more than just a grain company. They are truly consultants to make sure the grains they are providing to you or your business meet your highest expectations. Additionally, they work with mills around the country ensuring shipping is as low as possible for their customers. If you are a distillery, brewery, or even doing this at home, Goldstone can assist you. Check them out at goldstonemill.com, call them at 217-254-6613, or check in via email at hello at goldstonemill.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the Hazmat Offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary, or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's Birthday Barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, but if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. Thank <laughs> you.